Hello, in this video I'm gonna show you how to connect your iPhone 16e to an Apple Watch. Here I have the Apple Watch SE second generation and this video will work for any Apple Watch. You just need to first turn the Apple Watch on and by the way make sure that your phone has Bluetooth enabled so you can just slide down from the right top part of your screen to open the control center, then press and hold here and find the Bluetooth. If it's on, then it should be blue. If it's off, then it will be white. So I'm, I'm gonna enable it and then I'm gonna turn on the Apple Watch. So I just need to press and hold on the button. On this button, not on the crown and wait a moment. Once it turns on, in a moment we should see a screen on our iPhone that says set up your Apple Watch or something like that. If it, if it does not show, then you should go to the Watch app. So if you don't have it, you can just get it from the Play Store, uh, I mean App Store and then I'm gonna allow notification and click on start pairing. Then I'm gonna click on setup for myself. And you can see on my watch, there is this animation that shows up that I need to scan with my camera. And now it's paired. I can just click on setup Apple Watch and select on which hand I will hold my Apple Watch, I will select my left wrist and click on continue. I can put it on now or put it on later. I'm gonna put it on maybe. Now you need to agree to terms and conditions of watchOS and this Apple Watch is actually locked to the owner because I have reset it through the um, through the settings in the Apple Watch. So I'm just gonna quickly log into that. But in case you are selling your Apple Watch, remember that you should um, reset it through uh, the settings of your iPhone. So you can just uh, confirm that you want to sign it out of iCloud. And I'm in. Now I can share uh, the watch analytics or don't. I'm gonna sh share it and click on OK. Then I can set a password. I can create a simple passcode or a long passcode. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna create a long passcode. Then on my Apple Watch, I need to enter it. And click on OK. I'm gonna use it, but of course I recommend setting it to something more difficult. Okay, now it's adding the passcode and remembering it. Now I can choose the text size and you can see it immediately shows up on the screen of your app watch so you can just um, decide which is right for you. I'm gonna take the smallest one. You can also enable the bold text in case you need it. Then I'm gonna use dictation and I'm gonna click on OK. Then I can personalize my uh, fitness and health by setting my date of birth, sex, height, weight, and whether or not I'm on a wheelchair. Then click on continue and you can um, set up activity and I'm gonna do it now. So you can select the daily move goal. I'm gonna set it to moderately. Then the um, daily exercise goal. Let's set it to 45 minutes a day and daily stand uh, goal. So that means um, that It'll count if you just stand up, get up and move for at least a minute in each hour of your day. Uh, so if you get up um, 12 times 
uh, every hour, then it'll count it, uh, so you just don't see it all the time. Mm. Then you can also enable a workout route tracing. If the Apple Watch supports um, eSIM, then you also may get prompted in the process if you want to add the eSIM to the Apple Watch. Mm. Now you can set up a sleep schedule, I'm gonna skip it. And you can enable or disable notifications about your health. I'm gonna enable them and click on continue. Now I'm gonna click on continue. This is information about the safety, about the emergency SOS as, le as well as compass tracking or um, back tracking or crash detection. Now it's signing into account, so we just need to wait a moment. And now they are syncing. If you want, you can click on get to know your watch and see some tips about uh, your um, watch. I'm gonna click on done and just wait until they sync together and get back to you in a moment. And now it's set up, so you can click on done. And here you can do um, way more. I mean, your Apple Watch is already set up. You can click on start on it. Then it will tell you how to navigate your Apple Watch. So you can press on the crown to see apps. You can see they are downloading right now. If you press on the crown again, it'll go back to the home. This will open the control center or close it as well. Then you can turn the crown up to see the widgets. And this is the mm, gesture navigation mm, guide. Here you can, I'm gonna cancel that for a moment. And here on the iPhone, we can go to the face gallery and select different faces that we can set on our Apple Watch. So I'm gonna, for example, set this one. I think it looks quite great. You can just click on add, then it will be added to your face um, collection. And now you can just click on it, scroll down and set it, as, uh, uh, set it up as current watch face. Okay, and now it's set. You can also do that on Apple Watch, so from your mm, collection of faces, you can just press and hold and switch between them. And also, I recommend setting up Apple Pay, so uh, you can just find, uh, probably, if you have your Apple Pay set up on your iPhone, then you should be able to find the wallet somewhere here on the list and set it up. For your, uh, for your Apple Watch, so you can just pay with it in stores. And that's all for today. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you next time.